Good morning, my name is Jim McLaren. Today we're going to look at the 2017 Ford Fusion. I'd like to thank Aaron Scully from Northern Ford in Espanola for allowing me to do this review for you. Some nice features about this Ford Fusion and that's you've got down here you've got your fog lights and right here that is your plug-in for your in your winter and you want to plug your car in. That's a nice feature that Ford introduced. Nice grill on this Ford Fusion. Let's take a look at the engine here. It's a four cylinder. It's pretty fast. It's it's got some power. Now the battery this is the positive the negatives over here. I'm not sure if you have to boost your battery, if there's another place you can boost it. I'm not sure, I'd have to ask Aaron. Your oil cap is here, and you check your oil right here. Windshield washer, your radiator overflow. This color is a ruby red. Now to open the hood, the hood latch inside and the catch is here. A little hard to find this morning. And it just hooks in here. Let's take, take a look at some of the other features. Underneath the lights, this now have a 360 surround, but underneath the light, underneath these mirrors is lights right here they light up when you get out of the car at night that's really nice both sides this is the uh, 32,738 the price of this Ford Fusion and it's got uh, navigation system built into it and that's Canadian dollars Seventeen inch wheels here. This is the dealer trade, so you see bourgeois in Midland. Here's your backup camera here. To clean it off. Rain last night. Does not have a locking gas cap. Just push it and the caps cap. You don't have to take it off. Nice feature. Take a look in the back seats here. This leather. And if you pull this down. Both don't let me down. Same side on the other side too. And get inside here. My seat's all the way back. You'll have more room on the passenger side. Okay. It's a little bit tight, but still comfortable. The seats are very comfortable in, in these cars, the Ford Fusion. Now the keys have, uh, you can, uh, there's a code on the keys and then you can lock it and put the code in. There's a code right on the key, I'm not going to show it to you, but there is. This adjusts your seat back and forth, forward, and this is your Lombard. That'll move this here thing right here. That's a nice feature to have when you're driving a long ways. Get in the car and start it up.
your hazard lights are right here. Engine started right here. As I said, it has a navigation system on it. We're just going to put the destination here. And it's got all kinds of stuff in here. Let's see if we can find four dealer this one. Fifty-nine. Center Street. Here we go. Now you hit save. Saving to favorites. It shows it's 42 kilometers away. Now we're going to close the hood so we can see some other part of the features here. Does it give you a hood alarm? Hood and jar alarm? Just going to pause the video. We're back in the car now. And I, here's where your oil life is. So it's 100%. There's your fuel gauge here. It's like a digital readout. It's like blue color. Your RPMs. And then your speedometer, it's a really nice blue color, really nice. And that's your compass, the sun's shining in today, so it's hard to see. Go through some of the menus, go through the center console here. Now this has selector here, so you, I put my foot on the brake and I'm going to check the, re the reverse camera out. It's reverse, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and it does have a select, but you have to press this button in the middle to have, use the select, it has paddle shifters. Now, let's put the reverse on. Now you see your backup camera. And right up here in the top is a plus, so that it brings you right close to your bumper. Nice feature. Put the selector back in park. Now let's go back to the menus up here. The sun's really bright this morning. Go back to the... Now here, here's the hit and display mode. I'm hitting this button here on the console. Hitting it. It's changing it here, giving your air pressure on your tires. That's the first time we've seen it in the car stop that it shows air pressure in the tires. Thirty three ninety six kilometers to empty. And you're back to your now you have a trip fuel economy settings that just It's going to go back. Driver assist. Oh, let's hit those wipers and I'm doing these reviews. Rear park at 8. I'm not sure what that does. And there's settings here. Vehicle settings. It's going to go back here. Now when you're navigating, this will show you uh, turn by turn once you're on the road. Check the steering wheel here. So your cruise control, you set it here. You've got Bluetooth, you set it here. This menu up here, you can set too. Navigation. It's hard to see in that sun. Navigation. Phone. Don't know if you have your phone hooked up. It'll show you your 
So the Audi was off. And believe it on navigation right now. This is the center console now. Put your phone in here, it's nice cradle in here, nice. A USB connector here and a 12 volt here. That lights up at night. See it nice at night. You have a CD player. You just gotta put it in, turn it down. Reading disc here. That sunlight's really doing heavy. Control your volume. We're gonna switch to the engine. Well, shows on your screen here what's playing here. Now, if you go hit audio here, it shows you what's playing here. I'm going to turn it down a bit. You don't want to hear my music. Now, if you hit browse here, It shows you all the CD tracks in here. You scroll down here. And you can select from here. Tennessee Waltz is my mom and dad's song. Now, another nice feature of it, you can do a repeat. You can hit a repeat here. Repeat the song. Oh, you hit sh uh, shuffle. It'll shuffle the songs. So it won't take them in order. It'll take one, maybe five, seven, jump all over the place. That's a nice feature. Turn it on here. Here's your climate control. I'm going to uh, bring it up because it gets noisy when the, when the fans come on. This is a burnt CD, so when I burnt the CD, I included text on it, so that's why you can see the what songs I have on there. And it does eject. Here's your settings all for your maximum air. And, oh, this maximum, you hit this, and it brings the air on. If you're at the fog, uh, your windshield's fogged up in the morning, you hit this, and, and it comes on really quick. And it heats up very quick and uh, defrosts your car. This is the parking brake. You pull it up and push it down to, to engage it. This is an automatic. Uh, you click on automatic. This. Uh, what happens when you stop at a when you stop at a stop sign or at a, at a light? The engine stops, shuts, and instead of just touch the gas, and it starts back up. It's very, very quick. You'd hardly notice it unless you paying attention. Now, here at the paddle shifters, now they're a little bit. I can get my fingers in here, but it's a little bit cramped here. I can. It's, the windshield wipers are touching my back of my fingers here. It's a little bit cramped, but you can still use it. And you have to again. Press this select here to put it in. You can just put it in. So it's on select here, and you'd have to push that in when you're in drive. So now it's on select. The light's on select here. I'd still rather have the stick shift. I guess this is something new that Ford came out with this year. Your lights over here. Now this is your fog lights. You turn your fog lights on here. And then this is a uh, switch for your so that's off daylight running lights. And that'll put your lights on and uh, nothing automatic here. 
few trip resets here. Controls are down here for the doors. And then for the mirrors here. You have a preset you can set your seat so when you sit in your when you're in park and you get comfortable you set one or set two and it'll set and remember that position for you you sit in your car unlock and lock, lock and unlock your glove box these are your manuals that come with it it's deep Like I said, the seats are very comfortable in here. That uh, Lombard, you press it and let's see if you can hear it. You can hear it moving there. It's pushing against my back. That's, that feels good. Driving a long ways, that feels good to have that Lombard. Nice feature to have. Your center console here. You have two, this one, the bottom one here. You get another USB and another 12 volt in here. Pretty deep. The mirrors have a blind spot. Both mirrors have a blind spot on them. Nice feature to have. It's a very quiet car. Like no road noise, you don't hear the road noise. Very comfortable car, very comfortable. Just ordinary mirror here. And then your lights, your dome lights, and for your glasses, sunglasses. This is your keys. You know, there's a code on the back of this. There's a locking code there. And I don't want to play around. I think it's got a, a remote start. I don't want to play around with it long. So I'm not sure how to unlock it with the code. Anyway, you get two sets of keys. And I think you probably hit the uh, lock button and hit this twice and hold it and it'll start. Remote start it. One thing I wanted to mention about uh, these are the headrests here. And I didn't know that this was a safety feature of it, but you can take the headrests off if you're falling in the water. Take the headrests off, and there's two long bars there. I can use that to break the window when you get out of the car. That's a safety feature that I didn't know that my friend Peter told me about. Let's go with the windshield. It's different in the windshield wipers here. As you can see, the wipers are different. There's settings here. And then it, so you shut it off. You see the wipers now? You shut it off and they hide. And then your, it's hard to see that sun. Sorry about this. This is your, you turn your, how quickly you want the wipers to go. Then your paddle shift through the hair and there's just enough room. A little tight here on this side, but you can still use them. Very comfortable driving car, very, and handles the roll very nice.
very quiet. I'm, I'm impressed by the Ford Fusion. My songs are playing on the radio here on the CD player. There's your hazard light again. Your louvers here. I want to thank all my subscribers. Look forward to a new video on a different car in the future. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.